seven shots, all bounced off, not one penetrated. My name is Heinrich Ernst Kniepkamp, Chief Armor Engineer for the Third Reich. June 1941, they brought a captured T-34 to Kummersdorf testing facility. We laughed. German engineering was unmatched. Krupp, steel, absolute precision. We were going to dissect Soviet junk. Then, we measured the armor. 45 millimeters sloped at 60 degrees. Basic trigonometry showed that equaled over 100 millimeters effective frontal protection. Our best panzer had 30 millimeters vertical. One third, the protection with double the steel weight. We didn't believe it, took it to the firing range, loaded our standard 37 millimeter anti-tank gun, the same weapon that dominated Europe. 500 meters, we fired. The round bounced like a stone skipping water. Fired again, bounced, again, bounced. Seven shots, seven failures. The Soviet tank didn't even notice. Oberst Weber went white. 20 years of German anti-tank doctrine became worthless. We needed 29 hits to destroy the tracks. Not one penetrated the hull. Then we examined the gun. 76 millimeters could pierce any German armor at 1500 meters. Our tanks needed 300 meters, and even then no guarantee. We were sending men to slaughter in metal coffins against machines we couldn't hurt. General Heinz Guderian came personally, the architect of Blitzkrieg. He read our reports, watched the tests. For the first time I saw fear in a German general's eyes, not fear of dying, fear of mathematics proving we'd started an unwinnable war. We calculated Soviet production, 15,000 T-34s per year. We produced 3,000 Panzers total. Theirs were better, cost less, easier to manufacture, more reliable. By autumn, we ordered only engage T-34s point blank, where penetration is marginally possible. Proud Panzer forces reduced to praying for lucky shots, attacking from behind, avoiding direct confrontation. We eventually created the Panther, a German T-34 copy, but it arrived 1943, two years late, cost three times more, required skilled labor we lacked, broke constantly because Germans over-engineer everything. The T-34 taught us the hardest lesson. Good enough at scale crushes perfection in small numbers, always, without exception. We crafted masterpieces, they stamped out workhorses, and workhorses win wars. That day in Kummersdorf, we realized Germany had already lost. We just didn't know it yet.